have the 2015 280 C Race Sundancer. We're going out for some on the water shots. Check out that bow thruster. Closer. Are you looking for a great late model cruiser? Then come with me at, for a walk around tour on this 2015 Sea Ray Sundancer. She's a 280. She's very well equipped with the 8.2 C core Merc Cruiser engine. She's got a bow thruster, generator, and a full canvas enclosure for comfort. Come on. Here we are starting off at the bow. We see we've got a nice plow anchor, windless, with foot pedals here and multiple cleats. Notice on that foredeck, we have a large skylight and a hatch for light into the cabin. Along the sides, we've got these oversized hull side windows and a nice classic black hull. Sea Ray still uses the curved windshield by Taylor. And this boat we see we have the side curtains and dual bimini for sun protection. Down along the side, there's our Sea Ray badge right there. And this gives us an overview of the cockpit. We've got the extended swim platform right there. There's a four-step boarding ladder to make it easy to access from the water. Let's go aboard. Here we are aboard this 280 Sea Ray Sundancer midnight ride. We see we have trunk storage right here. Nice grab rail. And then off to one side, we have our four-step boarding ladder to make it easy to come on board. We enter the vessel through this starboard door and immediately off to one side, we see we have our L-shaped seating and our teak cocktail table, which actually folds up out of the way to give us a little bit more room. This port side lounger is what I call a LLI, ladies like it feature. They can relax in either direction facing fore and aft. Circling around, we see we've got molded in steps for easy access to the helm right there. Our helm seat, which is double wide, can flip in either direction for more entertainment type seating. Off to starboard, we have our wet bar with a built-in grill for barbecuing. Stainless steel sink right there storage and refrigerator below. Noticed right there, we've got our speakers and 110 outlets, cup holder and a window below for the mid cabin. Here at the helm, 
we see the can dash gel coat We've got a compass our smart craft gauges up on top stereo control Raymarine chart plotter VHF radio nice leather wrapped steering wheel and nice upgrade on this boat is this bow thruster right there to help us dock easy shift and throttle right there makes it a pleasure to drive this deck is nicely carpeted which we currently have removed engine access is right through the deck it's hydraulically activated with the touch of a button we can enter the vessel's engine space without even removing the table this opens nice and wide for easy access and right in front of us we see we have our Merc Cruiser 8.2 big block V8 with the C-Core features on it. There's a lot of space in here, so all around the engine is easy to access and easy to care for. Along this bulkhead, we see we've got our three batteries and our battery charger right there. We also have our generator up against this bulkhead right here. And now with a touch of the button again, we easily close our engine compartment. We enter the cabin through this opaque bifold door and down a few steps. Once inside, make note of how bright she is. She has that large skylight above with another hatch. And check out these large side windows also. Immediately upon entering, we have our power panel here with our stereo. 120 volt panel, 12 volt panel, and generator start right there. We're showing about 15 hours on that generator. Coming down along the side, we have our galley, microwave here, cabinet storage above, more gunnel storage up top also. We've got a nice open counter space here. And again, note the window in the back, single burner alcohol electric stove there, sink with a pull-out sprayer, and then below we have cabinet storage and our refrigerator. Sea Ray is always concerned about safety. Notice polished stainless steel grab rail right there. This interior is very well appointed. Fully lined vinyl interior. Note the wood floors. This area here, our V-berth section, while we have it set up for dining right now, it also doubles as a sleeping area. It's over seven feet long and over eight feet wide. Above, on both sides, we've got the gunnel storage, mirrored anchor locker there. Notice speakers there also. And then coming down along the starboard side, we have a little bit extra length in the seating here, and then a hanging locker. Behind us, we have our fully lined fiberglass head with the vacuum flush system. Got a pull-out sprayer shower. Note again the windows. 
We also have our macerator discharge right there. Up against this aft bulkhead, we see we've got our DVD, TV player right here. And then below, we have our mid cabin, which is about four and a half feet wide and eight feet long. And C Ray thought of this. We have a nice raised section here with a light and window right there. Midnight Ride is low hour, well powered, neat, clean, odor free, loaded with features, viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.